Welcome back to part two of my mechanism tutorial. Let's head inside and see where we get to this episode. Well, this tutorial part, if you like. So I've, you may be able to see the lack of lava around here. I've moved the heat generators. We're going to come back on that to that in a second. Um, at this point in the progression, it follows directly on from the last one. There's no real break here in how you would actually be playing the game. But at this point, before we go on to more machines, uh, we should probably say, or oh, look at a few tools that Mechanism can actually give us, because we're still mining manually at this stage. And one of the things you'll see at the bottom of the bar is lots of different tools. I've got my Iron Sword, six attack damage. I've got a Diamond Pickaxe because I was really lazy. Um, and all the rest of the stuff that I have in here, and it's kind of cluttering up my inventory. So one of the things we should actually make is called a Paxel. So this is a combination of, let's look at the wood one, combination of an axe, a wooden pickaxe, well in this case a wooden pickaxe, a pickaxe and a shovel. So all of those three tools in one, and it actually does damage as well, so it often uses, is used as a weapon. So we want a weapon that's better than our iron sword, so if we have a look at them, well we could just use an iron paxel, but we can probably get to bronze. Technically the obsidian one is slightly better, but... The bronze one is 13 attack damage, that's much better than our sword, and pretty much everything else. So, yeah, let's see if we can get to that, first of all. Uh, we're going to need some uh, bronze, uh, sorry, copper, and uh, we're going to need some tin. Uh, we're going to need some of the raw tin, the dust, so let's just get some of that and put that in the enrichment chamber. We're going to be using the metallurgic infuser here. Uh, we put the copper in, and we're going to be getting some... Tinder shortly. Uh, between the episodes, I have put a few upgrades in these. Um, not that one, obviously. <laughs> uh, there we go. So halfway up. So it's three times more efficient, if you like, with power. So that's uh, at least a boost at the start. Let's get some of this and drop it in. That's going to take a while. Uh, while that's actually going... I did want to uh, there, just get some more heat generators and buckets. That'll do. Let's go and look what I did with the heat generators as well. That's processing. Uh, let's grab you and there we go. So down here, and excuse the lightning sounds if you hear them. That's another mod. And you'll see I've moved the heat generators. So if I drop down to the bottom, all that I've done is put a ring of them with them the flat side facing outwards in uh, four in one layer with the other five squares filled in with some blocks of lava, no longer flowing lava now. And underneath each of these as well, just in the floor, is also a block of lava. And then on top is another block of lava. And then we just repeat the, the we just repeat the layering if we want to do more. Now this isn't terribly you know it's terribly ter isn't terribly amazing power. But uh, what it is it just means we've got just like a reliable kind of backup power if you like for our future use we, we won't use it for backup to start with but later on it'll become completely redundant as we get into the more powerful forms um, so what we do here is again just fill in um, this and the same really around all the outsides I haven't got a, uh, a heat gen for there I'll make one later and we just fill it in with lava. Uh, I filled it in with using this portable tank. I'm not sure if I showed you that last uh, last part, but if not, it's a very, very cheap recipe. Just one of the control circuits, two pieces of glass and six iron. And that works just like uh, you've probably seen portable tanks in other mods. Uh, so, yeah, just dump it in like that. And you can repeat that as often as you wish. This just goes into the wall and up to where the machines are. So let's see if our machines are done. There we go. So we've got some bronze. Let's uh, see. Portable crafting. Um, we wanted an axe. Pickaxe and a shovel. And then we put it together like this, I think. Bronze Paxel. So I should be able to just. Uh, I'll just dump them in here for now. 
Oh, I shouldn't need any of them. Not sure if it digs obsidian, but I'll test that anyway. It may well do so. Uh, we're down to just really uh, just one tool now. Much nicer. So we've got a tool, and uh, we probably want some more tools. Uh, well, some more things from mechanism. What else can we make? Well, we can also make something called the free runners. You've probably seen these other mods. Um, they require these two we've seen before, the enrich alloy, the basic control circuit, energy tablet we haven't seen before, but it's it's a fairly basic recipe. It's just gold and these enrich alloys again. But as you'll see underneath here, it requires power. And so do other things that we're going to create with our mechanism. So how are we going to get the power into them? Now, let's take those back. Hopefully I don't need that anymore. Hopefully. <laughs> so, power, yes. Uh, we need a way of storing power, because these machines are all well and good, they're going to fill up their buffer, but effectively the power is now going to waste. Even though it's free power, we're not storing it anywhere, apart from what the buffers in the heat generators are storing, and the buffers in the machines, so we should store the power, um, yeah, in a better way. We do that using energy cubes. Um, Again, you may have seen similar things in other mods, um, but we start off with a basic one. This, as we've done before, is an energy tablet. Uh, again, we've seen that recipe, that's gold. And some steel casing, which again we've seen before. And this should make a cube. I'm not sure if I have all the components I need, however, because I might need to go into the mine. Osmium, uh, 4 iron, 16 coal gets us the... Q, well, I guess it's the casing, but uh, oh, I had, yeah, I should have enough. I've got enough gold. It was the gold I was worried about. So there we go. Yeah. Um, let's just grab that for a second. One quick note here is that instead of just putting the redstone directly in, if I haven't already said this, oh, I've got tin in there. That's annoying. Let's just get rid of this for a second. Um, I should have mentioned this last episode, but I probably didn't. Uh, instead of just putting redstone directly in here, put it first in the enrichment chamber, if I remember rightly. That's going to turn it into compressed, and there's lots of different resources that you can compress, and the compressed version lasts a lot longer in the infuser. There we go. So if I would put, let's say, one in there, I would get ten redstone. If I put one compressed, which is effectively the same as one redstone, I get a hundred, so it's ten times more efficient. So make sure to do that, and then you know, let's see what we get out of this. Um, I'm probably going to need more iron cooking up. Let's just cook the iron, and I'm out of iron. Okay, uh, for emergencies, that's one of the reasons why I have uh, equivalent exchange three. This is the pack uh, Horizon Two Daybreaker means I can just do something like uh, why you no work okay I thought I could do that I have already taught this iron I think unless it's reset for some reason I shouldn't have It has reset. That is weird. I think that's actually a bug. So, yeah, uh, I put in a, st a stack of clay and I get it some iron. That's equivalent to chain three. Don't worry about it. I'll probably do a separate tutorial on that. Just saves me having to run down the mines and get this this video out faster. So, uh, let's get three more of those on the, on the go. Uh, let's do our steel while that's going. Um, we just needed four of this. And I got the pattern wrong again, which is, there we go, steel casing, and yeah, it was just six gold and four redstone per one, so I want eight redstone, 12 gold, just got invited enough, and then we can assemble that, six gold, oh, <laughs> it's three gold per one, yeah, dub, never mind. At least I didn't use it up. Um, no, there we go. So two energy tablets. 
And are we missing something? Redstone. Still missing redstone because I'm still derping. Okay, you're not having any of it. Okay, now the energy cube uh, is sided, if I remember rightly. Yeah, you see how this side is um, got a bar across it? That's the output side. So what we're going to do is just temporarily add it. Do I really want it in here? I probably don't. It's kind of hard to be accessible and visible because I need to be able to see one side of it. Um, yeah, that should work. Let's just... Yeah, so if we just go in here and make a bit of room, we can just drop it down. And you see the output side is towards me, which is exactly what I want. And you can see it charging up, and it's going to charge up from or pull all the buffers, if you like, from the heat generators and provide this. So let's just get out of here again. No easy task when I keep on blocking myself in. Yeah, that'll do for now. Uh, a bit annoying that it's not level, but... Um, so in here, you'll see a minus and a plus, and this is where we can actually put equipment, and that will let us charge things up. So let's look at making those free runners, um, which is one of the first things that are gonna need. Uh, again, I'm gonna need more gold, aren't I? Fine, I'm gonna go and get more gold, and then I'll be right back. Never mind, I had enough gold on me, so we can should be able to just make this now. Yeah, so we've got two control circuits. Made those off camera. Done them before. We get free runners. What do free runners do? Well, nothing unless they charge. So let's drop them in here, and it's going to charge up. As you can see, it's, this is dropping down quite a lot, but it doesn't take much power for these, so that's fine. There we go. So. Free runners, as you've seen, probably seen with other mods, if I just break this. Normally you can't go up one level of steps with free runners, you can. So that's a quick uh, way of saving some effort if you, well, my mind. I just pop down here for a second. Um, uh, excuse the lightness of the lightning. As you see in my mind, I've got half steps all the way down, and it goes all the way down to level 12, so uh, I am can't really can't get rid of that. <laughs> That's essential craft, by the way. There's a, an invisible node there. It's a lot like Thorncraft. Um, we'll come onto that in another tutorial, perhaps. So uh, that's the free runners. That's one of the first steps. Although I've already created this Paxel, it's okay. It's okay, but it's not as good as it could be. Uh, there is a much better tool, um, and I can never remember the name of the thing. Um, it's like the atomic something or other. Um, yeah, atomic disassembler. There we go. And now this is a new recipe. You've seen all these five before, so that's fine. We could probably get those cooking. These tower, these two, however, you won't have seen before, and they're a bit more complicated. So let's start with this, this simpler one: um, refined obsidian ingot. We make that in a new machine called the osmium compressor. It comes from osmium. Goes into uh, well, it combines these two, and then it comes. It becomes an ingot on this side. So we already know how to make these. They're a fine obsidian dust. We have to make in a metallurgic infuser, which we've already got one. But it requires compressed diamond. Well, it requires diamond. Uh, make sure that you compress it because, yeah, this stuff is expensive. Um, so yeah, we're going to need to get then obsidian dust. And obsidian dust you get from obsidian in an enrichment chamber. So we can at least just. Uh, if I've got some obsidian, have I? Yeah, we can put a couple of those in the enrichment chamber to start up, so we don't have to do anything else. Um, so, to get refined, we then need to crush up a diamond, um, which again is enrichment chamber, so... Uh, let's get a diamond, let's get you running. There we go. 
Uh, what else do we need? Uh, we need the osmium compressor itself, which is the machine. So let's have a look. Osmium compressor. Okay, most of that is what we've seen before, apart from the advanced control circuit, which is just the normal ones uh, with an enriched alloy either side. So I'm going to create the, the enriched alloys all off screen because it takes a while through the infuser. Be right back. Okay, there we go. Um, I've made a few extra. We're probably going to use them anyway. Um, what was the recipe again? Osmium. Yes, we're going to need to make the advanced circuits first, so... Two of those, and the uh, steel casing in the center, two buckets. Don't think I'm going to get the buckets back, so never mind. And then we're going to go around the outside and get a Osmium compressor. And I'm probably going to put it over here. I don't have a magnet. So used to having a magnet normally. There we go. And put that in. Okay, now, obviously these are powered power quite a bit now because they're actually all pulling off this energy cube as the buffer. We're well, then going to need to make the refined stuff. We need to be a bit careful here. Uh, I've already compressed the diamond, so I'm going to put that into the... In fact, to break this, I should make another one of these. I probably will between the episodes. I don't need to show that on, on camera. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to put the... the dust in and I'm going to use all of it to convert this obsidian dust over. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it, I just want a few extra, so that's fine. And then let's have a look at what we need for the atomic disassembler. So as we've said before, the refined obsidian, we need some osmium and refined uh, obsidian dust, which we're about to get. So we need one of each of those. We need four more enriched alloy, which I'll need to make an energy tablet, which is another couple so that's six I'm going to need to make but this is the main thing in the center atomic alloy is made using a reinforced alloy which we haven't seen before which is made using again diamond dust and one of those so do remember to use up your diamond dust on a couple of your enriched alloys because you're probably going to need to though need to have those in a in a future date so use up all of your diamond or at least most of your diamond so that's fine, and um, maybe we'll only use one of them for this. So we get those, and then we need to probably compress this. Again, get rid of this. This is why you want multiple of these. You're going to have the tanks partially filled on all of them, probably. So let's get you and let's just upgrade both of them. We should get world bottles we want, but that should get us the atomic alloy. And now I just need to make these again. So that's again going to require me to break this machine. Which I don't mind if I've got enough. Uh, again, I'm out of iron. I'm going to write shot on clay doing this, but uh, yeah, it kind of works. Uh, there we go. It's basically four clay to one iron. It's fairly balanced these days, at equivalent exchange, so you don't need to worry about it too much. There we go, and yeah, we're breaking it again, aren't we? I'll go and make that off camera. So there we go, I did that off camera, and our final bit is just to put this and this, and that will make the this refined obsidian ingot, which should be done. Okay, let's craft this and see what we can do. Um, yeah. Atomic disassembler. Bye bye, bronze paxel. By the way, this thing is uh, okay at um, mining obsidian, but that's about to become quite irrelevant. If we put this and charge it, You'll see just about how much power this thing is hoovering up. Yep, that's emptied everything. This is one of the reasons why we're going to need more power. But if we shift right click, I remember rightly, we're going to toggle it between different modes. Slow, fast, vain, and off, normal. Okay, so you're probably going to want, uh, in fact, let's go to normal first. 
let's just head down here for a minute. And it's probably the funkiest looking tool uh, I've ever used in the game, by the way. So um, let's actually get down to some get down to some ore. I'm living in a mountain, so it takes a little bit of time to get down. I should make a just vertical drop shaft with a pool at the bottom, but I haven't been bothered so far. So let's get into some serious ore. Where are we? Yeah, we're getting into it now. Ah, uh, 30, 20. Here we are. Yeah, this will do. So, normal version, as you'd expect. It pretty much knocks out blocks instantly. Slow. Makes that much more like a normal tool. And fast. Well, this is where it goes a bit insane. Uh, stand by. Yeah, this is all mine. So, <laughs> as you might imagine, uh, that is uh, pretty good as far as mining is concerned. Uh, let me just double check something. Can you right click to place torches? No, you can't, unfortunately. And the other modes, Vane is obviously as you'd expect. I do this and I get everything connected to it, which is quite handy for uh, grabbing ores, that, that, without destroying everything in the way. All are good. Especially down here, like this. As you might imagine, uh, this is using up power, though. If you look at the gauge, it's about halfway down, which isn't too bad. And off doesn't do anything. And normal, yeah, we've seen that before. Yeah, as you expect. So this is pretty much makes mining a lot, lot easier. Um, in fact, it's far too easy to actually uh, accidentally kill yourself with this by mining things. So vain is the the, um, the mode I normally use. Uh, by the way, I think that's the energy cost next to it. So fast, you see just how much more energy it's actually costing. Um, it's either energy or speed, I think it's energy. So now we've got a tool that can get us to mine uh, pretty much anything that we want to. That's great. Um, but as I've said, to convert across these tools, sorry about the lightning noise, it's going to come up. Yeah, it's like you lightning. Um, to use these tools, you're going to need a lot more energy. And energy... Well... <laughs> Our heat generators just are not cutting it. So, what do we need to go to next? We need to go, probably next step, is to wind power. Next tier up of power, that is. And if we go uh, to... Um, whoops. Uh, mechanism generators. Wind power, wind turbine. So again, everything you've seen before, there's nothing new here. So I'm going to craft this off. In fact, I'm going to craft some cable first. I'm going to craft this off camera and then we'll go and uh, go and place it and see what happens. Back in a second. There we are. We should have everything we need now. So let's just put that together. And one windmill or wind turbine, I should say. I've also got some cable, so let's go and see if I've got enough cable. That's uh, usually the problem. Uh, I think it's straight up. Uh, I've put a marker. And it's dark. Let's go and sleep. Oh, it's not dark. It's just enclosed. Never mind. Do I want the cable here straight down? Probably do. There we go. And I'm probably going to run out of cable, I think. Maybe not, but yeah, I probably am. Yeah, just because I'm short, then uh, well, I'm not that short, but I'm just going to position it here for now and I'll move it later. So if I just. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how much damage this thing does. Meh. Pretty good. Uh, where was I? Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, 
I just place this down. Should connect in, probably one higher. There we go. Now wind turbine is up. The higher this goes, the more power it generates. Um, in fact, let's just break that. So what I do want to see is... Let's go and see how much power we're making before and after. So we've got seven heat generators now, and uh, we are getting something like... Yeah, so maybe one kilojoule per second. Without the wind turbine, that is. Let's see what it is like with the wind turbine. That's spinning. And strictly speaking, I think those should block each other if you put them too close together, but... I've not tried it yet. I'll have to do a bit of experiments off camera. Uh, what have we got? No, it's not actually connected yet. I need some more cable. Uh, it's only coming down to there. Need about six more cable. It's going to need more steel. Oh, of course it is. And I'm out of iron. I swear if there's one thing that I'm short on right now, it's iron. And uh, nothing else. Um, that should do. I only need... Uh, that's enough. Let's just make this so as normal. Steel, some redstone in the middle. So let's hope uh, eight cable is enough. It should be. Let's have a look. In fact, it should just hook into the top here. There we go. That's hooked up. Is it any better now? Hmm. Doesn't appear to be all that much faster. Maybe being limited by the cable. Uh, what's the cable? Uh, 3.2 kilojoules per tick. That should be fine. Um, yeah, I should be getting more power than that. I will have to look into that off camera. I definitely should be. It may just be a matter of cable or the way it's currently hooked up to be connected or something along those lines or a buffer. I'll uh, take a look into it, but don't worry about it for right now. Um, just feel free to definitely add wind generators. Anyway, I will speak to you next episode where we're going on to part three. Part three, we're probably going to look into automating some of these machines a little more and expanding the machine set a little further into the next tier up of machines, or rather in uh, mechanism terms, adding an extra tier to, uh, to increase our order output just from using these two machines on their own. So I hope you can join me then. Uh, that's probably going to be out in a couple of days from this video. If you're watching in the future to past me, then you can watch it immediately. Until next time, thanks for watching. And feel free to like, share and subscribe as normal. Or leave comments if you want to see anything particular in Mechanism. I'm going to cover most of it anyway. But if you want to see something uh, earlier, feel free to leave a comment. Goodbye. I am clearly an idiot. I put it the wrong way around. Yeah. Sorry, this is after the credits, but hey, uh, now it's connected. And now, hopefully, let's have a look. Oh, okay, there we go. See? It does work. It works.